I have nothing to offer but blood, toll, tears, and sweat. Winston Churchill. And this leads into this game, Dark Deception, where you're going to be sweating a lot and you're going to be bleeding a lot because the first stage, there's a lot of crazy monkeys, mechanical monkeys. Yeah, not just regular monkeys. So this game has a really good creepy feel and since we're close, so close to Halloween, I thought this whole week going to try and go with that Halloween feel. Um, and it's like a fast paced style arcade classic arcade game with like fun horror design and pretty much it just that means like basic controls um, simple game mechanics and so the first chapter that I played there as I said insane mechanical monkeys are chasing you in a hotel which at first I thought hey I have time to walk around I'll just like if they get near me I'll be fine but no you have to run like as one of the tips say, you have to run the whole time, you can't slow down. Uh, there's even an option if you press the middle mouse button, you can turn 180 because suddenly you'll be running. You go around the corner and there's a mechanical monkey like turning the far corner or something. And like there's, I think, only two chasing you. But if you get stuck down a hallway, you're gone. Like there's no nothing you can do. You might as well run into the monkey and let it eat you um, because these monkeys are bloodthirsty devouring monkeys um, yeah so you have to follow your radar in this to grab these purple crystals there's a story behind it the long story short is you're trying to get a second chance as far as I can tell at life and or be brought to your previous life I'm not sure which and then to collect all these crystals you then give it to this uh, older lady in um, in this room and she so she gives you all these chapters to follow and this first chapter you have to collect like over 200, 300 purple shards and then grab this um, glowing orb at the end and then the monkeys get frenzied at that point so it gets even harder. Um, so the game is great like up until that point I was really into it I'm like oh man these monkeys are crazy there are a few jump spots jump scares and but like it just consistently crashes it's a known glitch with this chapter and other chapters that there's certain points like this is a game ending bug um, surprise it's not being fixed but if you try and break the boards and then the monkeys follow you close by uh, right behind you then the monkeys will cause the game to crash and I had this happen like three times and collecting the 300 crystals it doesn't take long but it's kind of tedious if you have to do it multiple times so if you don't let the monkeys break the boards behind you and get close to you to do that the game will crash in the first chapter and you can't continue to the second chapter, third chapter, or fourth chapter so this is a real big shame because like the rest of the game is polished it looks really good but like the fact that the game will crash and not let you complete the chapter or continue onwards like you should be able to choose any of the chapters Unfortunately, I think that's like a design issue, um, a flaw, especially in this case where it's well-known bug. Um, and it's just, it's an unacceptable bug. It should have been fixed like a while ago. This game's been out a long time. They improved the graphics, kudos for that. But like, if there's game ending bugs like this, like that should be fixed like ASAP. Like it's pretty critical. Um, as I said, there are bugs in all four chapters, which is like crazy. I don't know what the other bugs are, but like if you can't even get to the other chapters without having to let the enemies catch up to you almost, like that's just pretty wild. So really, if you're keen on replaying a game and you're doing workarounds to finish the chapters, you know, go ahead, buy this, enjoy it. But it's a shame because this game's a lot of fun, the chasing, there's, it looks like there's chasing in all four chapters, like that's the basic gameplay. And it's like a chasing and hiding 3D Pac-Man aspect. And it's pretty unique amongst all the like Steam games I've played. Uh, hundreds or thousands of them. So if these bugs could be fixed, I would give us all an 8 out of 10. Um, and because there's nothing else quite on, like it on Steam. But it's just unfortunate. Like You want to keep playing. This is the time of year, Halloween, where you want to play um, a game like this. Like a horror game. And the game's just glitchy, unfortunately. So... That's all I'm going to say, otherwise it's unplayable, you might as well save your 20 bucks and buy something else. 
So anyways, I'm going to try and beat that chapter one and then hopefully test chapter two through four. So keep on gaming and don't crash your game. Bye.